Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today, honey. So make sure you guys have y'all teacups ready because y'all already know this tea is what? Piping hot. So I know why you guys are here, okay? I already know. Y'all have been waiting for me to spill this Snoop Dogg and Selena Powell tea, okay? So this video might be kind of long, but I want to go into detail. And I have a bunch of exclusives that other people don't have, okay? Um, we see Wendy Williams talking about it. But here's the smoking gun, Wendy. She has video, FaceTime video. And shout out to The Shade Room for giving me a shout out for that exclusive. Shout out to Madame Noir. They also looked out for me as well, so I really appreciate that. So for those of you guys who don't know, what went down is this. So Saturday morning, like around one o'clock in the morning, Tasha K caught me. Me and her was just up talking, sipping tea and sipping wine, having a good old funky time. And then Tasha was like, girl, why is Selena out here busting out mush mouth ass Snoop Dogg? I was like, what? She was like, yeah, she's putting Snoop Dogg on blast. So I jump onto my Instagram and I go onto Selena Powell's page and she is blasting him. She's putting up receipts and text messages, video. And I'm sitting there, honey, with my damn bird glasses on. I'm taking screenshots of everything. I'm downloading everything. I'm screen recording every damn thing, okay? Because we already know how Selena Powell gets down. She posts this stuff. She leaves it up for about 30 minutes and then she deletes it like the shit never went down, okay? Delete all this shit! So I made sure to grab all the screenshots. I downloaded everything. And then, of course, within about 20 minutes, she deletes everything. And so folks start going to Snoop Dogg's page, and they're confronting him. Like, you know what? Selena Powell just busted you out. The Shade Room, unfortunately, captured about two shots. But I had the video. So I posted the video up on my page. The video that you see, everybody took that off of my page. But like I said, shout out to The Shade Room and Madame Noir for giving me my damn credit, okay? So anyhow, um, I post that on there. And then once people ran to Snoop Dogg's page and were calling the phone number, Snoop Dogg realized that Selena Powell had busted him out. So he had to think of a really, really quick lie. And so, of course, he comes out with a video trying to rebuttal what she's stating. And he claims that he's coming out with a TV show called Clout Chasers. Y'all know me. I've been calling Snoop out for months now. I've been keeping my foot on his damn neck. I'm a fan of Snoop Dogg, but I don't like this new Snoop Dogg. I don't like this holier than thou. I want to talk shit about Kanye. I want to act like I'm all that. He's just another mush mouth T.I. to me, in my personal opinion. So anyways, he claims claims that he's coming out with the new TV show called Clout Chasers just so his audience will calm down and believe his bullshit. Hello world. Shout out to the beauty con. Great day today. I want y'all to be on the lookout for my new, new TV show from executive producer Big Snoop Dogg and Dada Baker from the bakery. This is a good one. This one is called Clout Chasers. Coming soon. New TV show for real, for real. First episode next week. Be sure to check it out. New show. You know I always come with something new. I got the Jokers, Wild, Martha, and Snoop. I wanted to make something that was real, relevant, and real hood. So be on the lookout for that Cloud Chasers. Yes, the TV show Cloud Chasers. Coming soon. You dig? Oh, yeah. I can't sign off without doing it. You bitch, you. <laughs> I was like, you know what, this is just a deflection. Snoop Dogg is full of crap. I'm not buying that at all. So I guess Selena Powell seen that I was not buying his bullshit. And so then she ended up DMing me. When I tell you me and her talked off and on all night, she spilled some damn tea in my DMs and she's giving me permission to post the tea. So what I'm going to do right now is basically do a timeline of everything that went down. I'm going to show you guys the Instagram comment that Snoop Dogg put up first. And that's what set the ball rolling. Snoop Dogg was trying to send some subliminal disses. And Selena Powell was like, you know what? Fuck it. Since you want to send subliminal shots, I'm about to put everything out there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a timeline of their back and forth. And what's so funny is that Snoop was posting so much to the point where his own followers were like, dude, you don't never post this much. You need to take your ass to bed. Literally Saturday and Sunday, all this man did was post. He was even posting videos of his wife. Come on now. When was the last time he posted a video of Sean? So he was posting videos of the wife. Even Shantae on her page, she had the nerve to post up her wedding ring. We all know Shantae ain't going nowhere. She posted up her wedding ring as a way to, I guess that's what we were slapping Selena Powell's face. And everybody started dragging her and saying stuff to her in her comment section. This entire situation is messy as fuck, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. Anyways, go ahead and check out these DMs, the back and forth, just everything that went down over the weekend on social media between Snoop Dogg, Selena Powell, and Ms. Broadus. Go ahead and check this out.
Come fuck with me, baby. I got you. I want some head. Come fuck with me. Honey, I told you that damn tea was good. So the whole thing is this. This entire situation, like I said, is messy as fuck. I believe Selena in this situation. Granted, she's lied in the past. She lied about having Offset's baby, and she ended up apologizing for that. But in this situation, I do believe her because she has a lot of proof. And my thing is... Even if he's not fucking her, let's just say, you know, she made this up and she didn't fuck him. Why is somebody that is Snoop Dogg's caliber, okay, even aligning himself with a female like Selena? And I'm not saying that to talk down to her. What I'm saying is that Selena is known to bust people out. She's known to spill the tea. She's known to blast rappers. So why would this 50-something-year-old man jump in her DMs and even put himself in that situation, okay? Now, I asked her, I said, Selena, why are you busting out Snoop Dogg? You know what I'm saying? Why are you putting all this out there? And this is what she told me. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she told me verbatim. She says, this was not a move for his show. He's just trying to make up an excuse now. He left me stranded outside his Hollywood home. And then she goes on to say, he left me stranded, girl. What the fuck? Fuck him. He told me he was going to get me a house and a car out here too. He has multiple houses and multiple hosts. So then after that, I was like, you know, can you show some proof? And she says, there's no show, LOL. Now he's trying to say that I'm trying to extort him. And at that point, she showed me a text message between her and Snoop Dogg. And she said, I could post this in my video. So the text message says, and this was yesterday. This was Sunday when she sent this to me. So this was after she blasted him. She says, have a good life, Snoop. Then he replies back two hours later. He says, so now you're trying to extort me? Wow. She goes, I didn't ask you for money, so obviously not. You're just a fucked up individual. Then he goes, you asked for a car, then went on to the gram. Then she says, I didn't ask you for anything except an Uber home. Honey, when I read them damn text messages, I fell the hell out. You know, like I said, this is why I don't buy these celebrities and their their personas and just the fake shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I remember back in June during the BET Awards, you know, he was performing his uh, greatest hits. He went from crip walking at the beginning of the show to putting on a damn robe and singing gospel. I guess you could say I'm a brand new man. See, 
And I'm not buying this whole Christian persona, this whole gospel thing. This is nothing but a money ploy for Snoop Dogg, okay? And for the damn Christian community to fall for it, y'all are stupid as hell. And when I caught this out, like, hold up, this dude just went from quit rocking to singing gospel. Okay, I've seen it all. I'm going to bed. Folks said I was being judgmental. He's changed his life. He's a changed man. He's a good Christian. Okay, meanwhile, this good Christian, you know, the one that wants to, you know, preach to people on the Breakfast Club and talk shit about Kanye West and say how Kanye needs a black woman in his life. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Check this out. To go to Kanye and it was compared to Kanye's and I was like, wow, do you feel like he doesn't have that support at home because he's able to do it? Because I was thinking if some of the stuff that he said and I said, my wife would have had me Check by my shit head. Out of me. She would have, right have smacked me in the back of the head. She would have took right me now. through it in the river. Like, right now. Right. You know what I mean? She's so, not going to sympathize with you and say, oh, uh, Envy's just, you know, thinking freely. Free thinking. Mm -hmm. That nigga, I'm slap the dog shit out you if you say some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you your kids is, is looking at you. What you doing? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, and I hate to be black and white. You need a black woman. There's no black women in this life. <laughs> Let's just keep that 100. Right. Like, that's that's real, man. I got aunties that that's, they pull up with them big old church hats on. <laughs> <laughs> what you on? All right, so you guys just heard that audio of Snoop Dogg talking about, you know, Kanye doesn't need to be with Kim Kardashian. He needs a black woman. Now, what I find funny about this situation is this. I may not be a big fan of Kim Kardashian, but Kanye is free to be with who he wants to be with and who he wants to marry. Regardless, that is his business. Because for Snoop Dogg and all the mush mouth shit he was talking on The Breakfast Club, he's shown time and time again that he's not faithful to his black queen. Time and time again, he's disrespected this woman. He's had a side baby on her. But yet and still, he wants to talk about Kanye West. Does his black queen check him when he's out here fucking Mexican girls and sliding in their DM? Does she check him when he's out here perpetuating bullshit? Does he check him when he's sitting here trying to act like a Christian, but then his moves are saying something different, okay? This entire situation to me is a hot damn mess. Like I said, has Selena lied about stuff in the past? Yes, she has. But in this particular situation, I do believe her. But again, it's up to you guys. You guys don't have to believe shit I put out there. Y'all don't have to believe her. Y'all don't have to believe the story. Y'all can ride with Snoop. Y'all can do what the hell y'all want to do. But in this instance, I'm definitely giving Snoop Dogg the side eye because like I said, even if they didn't have sex together, why is a man of this caliber even getting caught in her DMs, even getting caught sending her topless pictures and everything else with his damn dad bod, okay? His body has come a long way from looking like Rodney and Baby Boy, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Selena even took to Twitter to say that Kim Kardashian liked one of her tweets and that Kim Kardashian agreed with her so it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out but like I said since it's come out the only thing Snoop Dogg has done is try to deflect and deny and he's basically claiming that she's lying he's coming out with a TV show the only new show that Snoop Dogg has coming out is a new show called Jokers, okay? So he does not have a show coming out called Cloud Chasers. He was just trying to deflect because once again, this is the good Christian man that y'all keep saying he's a changed man, he's a Christian and everything else. Snoop Dogg is out here trying to get money, okay? Now that he's too old to be a gangster and now that he can't continue to perpetuate that gangster lifestyle, now he's a Christian, now he's putting out gospel music. Just like a few years ago, he was Rastafari, he was putting out reggae music. Y'all fall for any damn thing. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get to this discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation concerning selena Powell basically blasting snoop dogg all over social media for not looking out for her he promised to get her a house he promised to get her a car and then once he reneged on that shit she put everything out there do you believe what selena Powell is saying or do you feel like she's just clout chasing and this is fake and then how do you feel about snoop dogg's response you know basically him trying to lie and saying he's coming out with a show called clout chasers even though this show doesn't exist so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.